Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. Um reason the lighting is a bit different is because I'm recording this video at night. Um bit of a spur of the moment thing, but I've decided because I've had rather a lot of um haul videos in the last month, I would just quickly go through every single thing in case anybody missed anything that I got in the last month. I know it's not the end of the month yet, but as I'm away next week, um I probably won't have time to record a video at the end of the month so I thought I'd do it now plus I'm gonna probably be picking up quite a lot next week and I don't wanna add it to all of this because this is a lot there's definitely over a hundred films here so I'm just gonna go very quickly make it all in one video so you can see everything that I've got make it easy so you don't have to watch several different videos and it's all in one video so this includes all my deliveries my CEX um, pickups Charity shop pickups, everything, Pre my birthday present that I got, everything. Um, I'm going to try and go in the right order. I think I'll do DVDs. They're all on my bed, so they're everywhere. Um, I'll try and do DVDs, 4Ks, and then just do Blu-rays, because it's going to be difficult to just... I don't want to just pick them up, but it's just going to be quite difficult. But I will get on with it, because it will take a while. So these are all pretty much ones I got from the charity shop. There's a few... Um, that I got online, I'll just quickly say if I got it online or not, but um, yeah, so let's get into it. So, first, I've got I'll just chat them on the floor afterwards or something up close and personal, which I got online. Sweet November, Spanglish, Runaway Jury, Runaway Bride. The Beach, Presumed Innocent, Must Love Dogs, I will also say when it comes to the Blu-rays there are some that I ha definitely haven't shown in any videos that have only come the last days which I'll get to them in a bit though, just wanted to say that in case I forgot when it came to it, uh, Lions for Lambs, In America, the Fabulous Baker Boys, which was a delivery online. Evolution. Driving Miss Daisy, which was a delivery. Don't Say a Word. Danny Collins. Baby Boom. A Walk to Remember. American Dreams, The Mothman Prophecies, The Gift, Volcano, sorry if there's a glare but the lighting isn't great, Vertical Limit, Meet Joe Black, Captain Corelli's Mandolin, The Station Agent, Two for the Money, Sleeping with the Enemy, First Daughter, Dances with Wolves, Hotel Rwanda, What Lies Beneath, this is the three film set of Stepmum, Steel Magnolias and Lorenzo's Oil. Then she found me. Buffalo Soldiers. I'll see you in my dreams. The Majestic, which I got delivered, fantastic film, love that film, one of the best, I've seen two films of the DVDs I got this month that blew me away, and that was one of them. And the final DVD is Curb Your Enthusiasm, the complete second series. So that's all the DVDs, so there's a lot there, I'd say there's probably about 50, I don't know, but I got lucky this month, and this is like, not May, this is like in the last month, so towards the end of April 
when I first stopped, when the shops started opening, I went started to go into CEX. That's all of this. Uh, now into some 4Ks, not very many. Glory. Logan. La La Land. Spartacus. And my birthday present, which you will have seen already. The Lord of the Rings, the trilogy on 4K. And now I'm just going to get into the Blu-rays. Um, I don't really know where to go through them, so I'm just going to put the part. They're not going to be in alphabetical order because they are just in piles. Um, the Green Hornet. The Gunman. He's just not that into you. The Hurt Locker. The Ides of March. In Dubious Battle. This is one that you wouldn't have seen yet because I've only just had it delivered and I only just watched it today. Inner Space, really funny film from the 80s, would recommend that. The Interview. The Italian Job. The Karate Kid in a Horrible Slim Case, that's the remake from 2010. Night and Day. Knocked Up. The Last Boy Scout, Love and Other Drugs, Little Fockers, Let Him Go, The Love Punch, sorry, not really making a proper pie here, move that over there, Magic in the Moonlight, Mamma Mia, The Messenger, Mud, Night at the Museum 1 and 2, Nothing But The Truth, The Other Guys, Paper Towns, Pineapple Express, Pitch Perfect, The Reader, Remember Me, Ride Along, the Riot Club, Role Models, Safe Haven, and Salmon Fishing in the Yemen. Then we have The Little Things, In the Valley of Ela. This is going to fall, sorry, bear with me. I'll put that stay now. Serendipity. Awakenings, another new one which you wouldn't have seen yet because I only got yesterday I think this came, Conspiracy Theory, really love that film, it was in the buy to get one free from the entertainment store on eBay, um, there's a lot of good titles in there so I would recommend it, and if you get them, most of them are 7 so it comes to £16, just under £16 for three, and you get one free which is really good, um, then we have Youth in Revolt, Zack and Miri make a porno. Slumdog Millionaire. Source Code. Spooks the Greater Good. Steve Jobs. A new one, Time Traveller's Wife, you wouldn't have seen. That also only came yesterday from Music Magpie. Trainwreck. Viceroy's House. We Bought a Zoo, That's some Disney ones, Bedtime Stories, Enchanted, and National Treasure Book of Secrets, National Treasure 2, 10,000 BC, Bad Teacher, get them all in a pile over here on my lap, Click, Chronicle, Changeling, Brooklyn's Finest, Bridget Jones Baby, Book Club, these last ones, Elysium, Enter the Dragon, Far From the Madding Crowd, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Free State of Jones, Get Him to the Greek, 
Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. And another one which I believe you haven't seen, which came at the start of the week, but I can't remember if I, sh if I showed it off or not. And that is Copland, which is a good thriller. And that, I believe, yep, yeah, just checking, is everything that I got in the last month. Very, very lucky to get as much as I did this month. Um, probably the most, mainly because the shops were open and I was able to get back out to the shops. And I always prefer buying stuff in shops. Because for the last year, really ever since I started really collecting Blu-rays, I've got most of my stuff off of Music Magpie, which means I can't get as much. Because things like, for example, We Bought a Zoo, it's about £2 on Music Magpie and I got it for 50p. So a big difference, so I've been able to get a lot more since the shop's opened, which has been in the last month. So this is definitely my biggest month of collecting stuff. My collection's grown massively. I expect it will grow even bigger in the next month. Um... I'd imagine my next one for next month is probably going to be similar, probably going to have around the same amount, but I think next month will be right at the end of the month, so it'd be just over a month, because we've got obviously one more week, and then a month, so it'd be right at the end of June, my next one, but I wanted to do this now before I went away, just to show everything in one video, not too long, I know my videos tend to go on quite long sometimes, but I just wanted to quickly show everything, so you're all up to date with everything that I have in my collection. Um, I'm not too sure. I may do a complete Blu-ray collection again. I don't know. I Because I've done two already this year. So I don't know. But I know some people always... Well, they, people love watching Blu-ray collection videos. But this is a lot of my collection here. So I don't know if I'm going to do another one. But I have been asked to do one by a few people. But... Um, yeah, I might just wait, maybe do it towards the end of the year, um, because my collection will definitely be a lot different by then. Um, but yeah, just wanted to show everything off, like I said, that I've had in the last month. Very, very lucky. I know that some people can't get this, and I just feel very fortunate that I can get this much. But it is mainly good prices, mainly. Most of these, I mean, I'd say the majority of these were over 50p or a pound, and a lot of them are great films. Like, I'll just pick some out. I'm not going to go on forever. But something like Forgetting Sarah Marshall, which was a pound, or um, Enter the Dragon, four pounds. Really good price. Never seen it. So, just it just happens to... Just what I would advise, my top tips for people if they want to try and find bargains, is look on... Get the CEX app on your phone. Look at all your closest stores, the stores that you can get to. Look at the stock. You can always sort, You can there's loads of filters. You can sort from low to high. You can get the years, the price you can change. You can do all sorts. And it always helps. And then you can make a list. And then you can go in and get what you want. And you're not there looking at prices for ages. You know what the price is. You know what you want. And I always find when I do that, I always come out with more which is always good because I've always found the good ones. That is probably my biggest deal. Um, I would say stay away from on online, especially Music Magpie if you can, because you can get films a lot cheaper if you actually go in to CEX. I don't really pay buy um, new films unless they're pretty much the same price in CEX, like um, Conspiracy Theory and Inner Space. I, know, I believe Conspiracy Theory, they don't have any in CEX. And Inner Space is £8 second hand anyway, so I would always just say go into your CEX and see what you can find. Music Magpie is still good if you can't get out, um, but I always prefer buying things second hand because there's not much. Well, the only difference is that it's sealed. Most Blu-ray discs are in really good condition because they're very difficult to scratch because of the lens. So you don't really need to worry about that if you collect Blu-rays. Um, so I would literally just say... Um, second hand is the way forward um it's always better as well because it's plastic as well um you don't want to i don't want to get into a big thing they use a lot of plastic and like the wrapping and the stuff that it comes in if you get it delivered and it's always better to reuse what someone else has given away um especially if it's in good condition like the slip cover for this is in very good condition and i got it for 50p so um I always think it's really good, if you can, to get things second hand. I know a lot of people do like the, the satisfaction of getting things brand new. I don't get that, personally. I always prefer getting things second hand because I think you just get more for your money. And um, 
you're reusing things that other people didn't want, um, which is I think is a really good thing. Instead of buying something new, you may not like it and then give it away. And to me, I see that as a waste of money. But whereas if you're getting something for cheap that someone's already used, you don't like it yourself, you take it back. You've not really lost much, especially if you've only spent 50p or a pound on it. So, because um, a lot of these, if you went into HMV, you'd probably have to pay £4 minimum. I think it is like three, four pounds minimum for a new Blu-ray. So, yeah, I don't really shop in HMV, but I can see why people do, because I know a lot of people like the satisfaction of getting something new. Me, personally, I don't. I'm just trying to build my collection and get as much films and the films that I want like I got The Time Traveller's Wife on Music Magpie for a really good price it's a film I want I didn't want to pay £8, £5 brand new when I could pay just over £2 to get it second hand um, I'm always going to have it in my collection now so don't need to pay any more money for it so I'm very happy with everything I get in regards to my DVDs I only now get films that um, are only available on DVD in the UK or um, if they have got a Blu-ray release in the UK but they're really expensive and they're films that I really want to see such as Dances with Wolves and um, Meet Joe Black which I know have Blu-ray releases but even in CEX they're like six, eight pounds and because I've not seen it and it, they are both films I've wanted to watch for a long time they were both from the charity shop, they were both 20p each no, it doesn't really make much sense not to buy them, does it? So, um, yeah, but I've gone on enough. I didn't want to talk this long. Um, not as long as I usually did. Anyway, um, but yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Um, I will probably name this video um, Blu-ray Call May 2021, April slash May 2021, plus um, physical media rant or something like that because uh, half of the video was that um didn't mean for it to go on like that but hey ho i just wanted to get my thoughts out some people might find it interesting some people might not but if you did like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if for some reason you dislike the video then by all means give it a dislike either way helps the channel helps me know if i'm doing things right um don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this comment down below do you own any of these probably do because there's an awful lot you probably own at least one somewhere in your collection i'd be surprised if you didn't because there is a lot there um do you want to know my further thoughts on any of these films um i mean there is quite a lot i haven't seen but if i have seen it and you want to know my thoughts i will try and let you know um but yeah anything comment down below i get back to everyone that takes the time to comment um and turn the notification bell on so you know when i have a new video on the channel and that is it, so until next time everyone, take care, goodbye.